Hi everybody, Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach. Today's Friday the 9th of November. Well, I'm in the new property and uh, we've done the box shifting and uh, removed home, so here we are. Um, got everything set up, all the computer screens set up, but I'm outside today, it's a lovely day. Got the pool behind me here, that's where I'm going as soon as I finish this video. Well, we've had the US elections this week and obviously Obama got back in. Uh, to start with, that uh, weakened the US dollar. It then turned around and it strengthened against most of the other currencies uh, towards the latter part of the week. Um, other interesting things out here, um, I wanted to mention about the New Zealand dollar. Well, the New Zealand dollar bounced off the 83 level against the US at 0.83. And there was a classic reversal signal that I teach to my clients. And it was interesting that the uh, New Zealand dollar started dropping, but several hours later, there was some really bad unemployment data came out. The New Zealand unemployment went up to one of the highest levels in quite a number of years. But what I wanted to show you, that that information, that news event, that fundamental event, was already factored into the price. And using the technical analysis that I teach to my clients every day, that that information was already factored in and I could see that the New Zealand dollar was going to drop off the 83 level several hours prior to that uh, bad news announcement actually being released. Um, elsewhere we've had a lot of strength in the Japanese yen this week and I'm actually short on a couple of uh, currencies. I'm short on the New Zealand dollar yen and I'm short on the euro yen. Um, elsewhere I've got a buy trade still going on the British pound Canadian dollar and also the US Canadian dollar. Um, but also interesting this week, right now I'm up about half a percent for the week. But the point I also wanted to make here was uh, for three out of the five days of this week, I've had no suggestions on my daily trade suggestions. But I still had a really good profitable week and still have four trades in right now. So what I wanted to actually let you know that you don't have to trade all the time to make money. Now obviously I've taken some shorter time frame trades there as well, but on the longer daily time frame, Due to the US elections, I couldn't see anything on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And with the news announcements there of that election, to me it was actually quite risky to take a longer term trade. It was fine on a shorter term trade where I could be in and out of a trade within a number of minutes or hours. But where I'm looking at holding the trade open for maybe a day or two, it was quite risky not knowing the result of the US election and not knowing how the market may react to that news. And today again, I've um, taken no trades, today being Friday. Yesterday I took five trades on the daily chart. So regardless of um, what you think, it is important to realize you don't need to be trading all the time to make money. If you trade too much, you're either going to be one, looking at the charts far too often, and uh, number two, you're gonna be paying your broker far too much money. So that's all for today. I'm off for a swim behind here right now. Um, sun's just about to come back out from behind that cloud and I look forward to talking to you this time next week.